G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac. This series of tutorials is going to run over the benefits of using core data as a way to persistently store data for your application. Core data is actually using the SQLite engine, which is a relational database. So core data has a number of benefits and features over using user defaults, which is simply key value pairing. With core data, we can do sophisticated searches and filtering. So let's install core data in an application and get started. I'm using Xcode 9.1 beta and to install Xcode in the easiest way, when you create a new project, we'll create a single view app and you just check the use core data. We'll create the project as a test. We'll put it on the desktop. And then uh, this file will be evidenced test.exe data model D. And that's where you create your uh, data schema, data tables, depending on what you want to call it. And here in App Delegate, uh, the checkbox filling in has meant that import core data has been added to the top of the app delegate file and there are these two uh, additional things added. So the first one, lazy bar persistent container is obviously a property um, for the persistent container and the second one, save context um, is a method function which we use to save our data to the database. So in the simplest manner, when you create your app that you're going to develop, you just need to check that uh, core data. And you can see that this, this container name test matches the name of the file. So if you have not um, if you've got an existing app and perhaps you've only just decided to use core data, then you need to do the following. So we're going to download our collection view that we finished last week. Final UI collection view, clone that, put it on the desktop. As you can see in our model, we don't have um, our, our data model file. So we just go new file. And then down here, there's a core data file. There's one that says data model. That's the one we want. And there's one that says mapping model. So we choose data model. And we want to call the file the same as the project. So we'll call it final. We'll create that and we get our data model file, which all looks good. And then we go into app delegate and we need to import core data. And we go back to the project we previously made. We just copy and paste the property and method. And here where it says, let container equals NS persistent container name, we change that to final and then when we build the second project dependency analysis analysis error Yes, there is a minor bug there. We will just rename the file again and build it again. And our build has succeeded. So we're not doing anything wrong. It's just the compiler is, it's actually expecting that an entity has been created um, because that error is something that occurs when you haven't set the module value 
for an entity, but in the case where there are no entities, it still gives the error value in that bizarre instance. In any event, that is how to install Core Data. I hope you haven't had any problems with installing Core Data. Next tutorial, we'll be looking at relational databases and how we can build or design our Core Data database. If you have any questions about the tutorial, then please leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at Swift Almanac. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and check out our website at www.swiftalmanac.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.